Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. I hope everyone is having a great day. I cannot believe that it has already been five days since I've made a regular video. I have put up some shorts, um, some shorts of New Kids on the Block, and then some shorts of the progress painting on Finley. I did take people's advice and made uh, the boo-boo into a birthmark. I did put video, a short up, and also a picture on my community wall. So if you want to check out how I did on the birthmark, uh, it is up over there. But I am here today with Ramona. She is the newest baby in the nursery. For those of you who did not see her box opening, she is from Babe's side and she is the 20 inch baby who has a sound box. So she cries, she coos, she has a heartbeat, and she kind of like giggles. Um, I'm not gonna turn her on right now because I came on just to kind of give you guys an update. Since it has been five days since I posted a regular video, which I do apologize about, but this week was extremely busy for me. I had a lot going on. Um, also, I have been dealing with my side again. I re-pulled it. Yes, I re-pulled it. That is the breaks of pulling a muscle or tearing a muscle, getting it to heal, feeling better, and then doing something to re-injure it. So I am dealing with that, and then I'm also dealing with, I had stopped, which was stupid on my part, I had stopped my acid reflux medication because I thought that it was giving me side effects. Come to find out, I stopped it for probably about two and a half to three weeks. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I ended up becoming extremely, not extremely, but uh, I started feeling nauseous, like background nausea, if you guys understand what I'm saying. It's not full-fledged nausea where I'm going to vomit, but it's like background. It's there. It's annoying. I started developing that and the burning sensation in my upper abdomen and my chest and so I knew that it was because I had stopped the medication. So I restarted my medication yesterday so I am hoping that in the next few days it will make me feel better but I'm going to have to get it through my head that I am going to have to be on some sort of acid reflux medication probably for the rest of my life even though I don't want to be. But if I'm not on something, it doesn't matter what I eat. I can eat bland toast and I will end up belching and having uh, stomach problems from it. So, anywho, there's that. There's my side. There's my mom. Uh, my husband had doctor's appointments. My daughter had doctor's appointments. So, it's just been a lot this past week. And so, that is why I have not filmed. But first off, I am here with Ramona. She is wearing a pink sleeper that has little yellow ducks all over it. I don't know if you guys can see it. It is a size newborn and it is by a company called Baby Grow. I believe it is vintage, but I'm not positive, but I do think it came from the 80s or 90s. She has the little rattle that she came with. She has her pacifier. And yes, she still has the white headband bow on her head because I haven't changed her. But she looks so cute just laying there sleeping peacefully while I ramble away. Um, also, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Finley is finished now. I have completed him except rooting his hair. I am going to try to root his hair myself. But I ran out of... Uh, matting powder and so I have ordered some but I'm waiting for it in the mail and so I will have to mat his uh, lips and his birthmark. Those are the last two places and then he will be completely finished. I am not going to do anything else to him. I don't want to overdo him. I know I told you guys this before in my video last time about him. I tend to overdo things so once I mat his birthmark and his lips I am completely finished with the exception of trying my hand at rooting his hair so that will be my last thing to do with him and I probably will do that sometime in May so he'll probably wear little caps like I said until then um, and then I may do some videos with him bald but he has like a big bald head <laughs> so he, <laughs> he looks better in hats 
anyways, that's it on Finley. So it may be a little while longer before you guys actually see a video with him. I know that I want to do a drink and wet video with him because he does work. I just have not done it on camera. Um, and then I am going to order a couple of new bottles to try on him because like I told you guys in my previous video, Jonah, Jonah really only does well with Tommy Tippy bottles. And so we will have to find what bottle Finley does well with. Um, also, some exciting news to me, maybe not to you guys, um, I know that there is controversy, at least I've seen controversy on the internet about the weight loss shots, the WeGoV, the um, Ozempic, and I believe there's two or three other brands. Uh, my doctor had put in a prescription in June of 2023 for the WeGoV. She sent it to five pharmacies in my local area. I sat on a waiting list until two days ago. Two days ago, I got a call saying that my starter uh, kit or dose of Wegovy was ready to be picked up. I picked it up on Wednesday night. Um, it took me 10 months to be able to get the starter dose in my area. <clears throat> and so I have it in my fridge and I am going to probably start either tonight or Monday. Um, I have been watching videos of people who have been on it for a while, giving tips and so forth. Um, one lady said she likes to do it in the evening before bed because then if there's any real bad side effects, she kind of sleeps some of them off. Um, you give yourself one injection weekly and that is uh i my starter dose is point i believe it's 0.25 which is the lowest dose that you can get they keep you on that for four weeks and then if you're doing okay they bump you up to the next uh dosage which i believe is 0.5 and then after four weeks of that they bump you up to point uh, 1.25 and then the very highest dose I believe that you can get is like 2.5 something like that on WeGoV. I know that there's higher doses on the different medications and there may be higher doses on the WeGoV, but for the weight loss I was told 2.5 was the highest dose. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have heard that a lot of people don't see any results until after two or three weeks or two or three weeks, two or three months. So I'm not expecting a whole lot. I'm extremely nervous about taking it. I agreed to try it for the first month, and if I don't like the side effects or if the side effects are too much, then I probably will not continue with it. Um, but it took me 10 months at five different pharmacies for one of the pharmacies to finally come through and get the product. So I'm nervous, I'm excited, I'm scared, and the only reason I'm scared, and I'm not scared because of it, it supposedly suppresses your appetite really good. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm not scared about that. I'm nervous about the side effects. The nausea, I can take over the counter nausea medication. I'm not too worried about that. Um, mine is if, it, if you become constipated. That, I know that is TMI. For a lot of people and I'm sorry but that is the one thing I'm terrified of because when I was younger and when I was pregnant with my kids I had massive issues with that and to this day I still have issues with that and I have to take products to uh, not have issues with that and so my doctor told me just to keep the products on hand keep taking the products I'm taking already and I shouldn't have a problem so she just said to make sure that I drink a lot of water to eat enough proteins and to eat enough complex carbohydrates, which is like vegetables and, and stuff like that. So yeah, guys, wish me luck. Um, I will put a picture of the WeGovy box here in the video, and then I will also enter here a picture of Finley's birthmark for those of you who did not see it. But that is what is going on with me, you guys. Um, it is 82 degrees today. It is actually Friday. Yes, it is about 3 p.m. in the afternoon now. It was about 2.45 when I started the setting up for the video, but I decided to go ahead and record because I had to run to the grocery store earlier and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's already two o'clock in the afternoon. I need to get a video made. 
Um, so yeah, that is what has been going on with me. I'm nervous. I'm excited. I'm scared. I'm hopeful. I'm very hopeful for this medication. Um, I've heard a lot of horror stories, yes, and I know social media likes to magnify the horror stories of the medication, but there's also a lot of good things from this medication. Um, I have a cousin who is actually on the medication. She's been on the medication for four months. She's lost 50 pounds, and she's improved her A1C, her cholesterol, her blood pressure, everything. So. I'm very hopeful because I actually personally know someone who is actually taking the medication and doing really well. Yes, I know everyone's different. She is my first cousin, but that doesn't mean anything because we are completely two different people. Everybody's different. I could have horrible side effects and it not work for me, <laughs> which I'm hoping is not the case because I'm very hopeful because I think I would feel extremely I would feel a lot better losing some weight. You know, if I lost like 75 pounds, I'd be doing extremely better. Um, I look a lot bigger than I may appear on camera. On pic on, whenever I appear on camera, I look a lot bigger than I do in person. But it, I'm only 5'5". Five five. I know 5'5 five five is pretty tall, but not real tall. But um, yeah, I look like I weigh a lot, lot to me but I don't. <laughs> I weigh a lot, yes, I'm like 120 pounds overweight, but I look like I'm 400 pounds overweight. But anyways, enough about that because I have body issues, I have image issues, I've had them my complete, my whole life. I've been diagnosed with borderline eating disorders, the whole nine yards. So I'm hoping that this medication does help me and I hope that I do not become too sick off of it and I hope and pray that I don't have a lot of side effects. Well, guys, that is what has been going on with me. It is Friday. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Like I was saying, I think I went off topic. It is 81 degrees here today. It is supposed to be in the 80s for the next three or four days, which I am not liking because I am not a summer person. And then we dropped to the 70s, actually 71 on some of those days. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. But yeah, it's a hot one whenever you go outside. I know some people will be like, 80 is not hot. It is whenever you are overweight and you don't like the summer. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. It has been like 13 minutes of me rambling. I hope that you guys all are having a great day. I hope you all have a great weekend. I am hoping to be back either on Saturday or Monday, maybe even Sunday. I'm not positive yet, but with that being said, that's going to do it for this video. Ramona and I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it for you. And until next time, bye, guys.